so at that time, uh, 1993, I was just started to freelance after touring with Carlos. And then I got called to play with Traffic. They needed somebody that played percussion yeah. with Jim Capaldi and then jumped on the drum chair uh, on drum set. So I played drum set and percussion with, with Traffic. But all the years with Santana even helped me get the Traffic gig because when they saw me playing with Santana, they said, oh, we got to get this guy. And then he plays percussion when Jim is playing drums. So, you know, sometimes... One job helps the other. Yes. And I, I just put up a graphic of you with uh, standing with the guys in traffic. Talk a little bit about the genius of Steve Winwood as well as Jim Capaldi, because Jim Capaldi was an amazing drummer, too. Yes, and songwriter, hit yes. songwriter. Yeah. He wrote uh, that song, co-wrote that song that the Eagles made a hit, uh, When We're Hungry. Love will keep us alive. I heard that song when he was writing it. Wow. And and I joked about it. I went, when we're hungry, love will keep us alive. Jim, come on. <laughs> you definitely need some bread to right. buy bread. <laughs> bread you know? and love. Bread and love yeah. together. Yeah. yeah, money and love. <laughs> right. So it was really funny. So and then all of a sudden in in a year, he's receiving the BMI award for Song of the Year by the Eagles. Crazy. So that goes to show you that's a lesson on its own. Everything starts with an idea, and then you have to com complete the idea Crazy. and take it to fruition. And which that's, I, I should do that more often. But you know, going back, Steve Winwood, uh, we clicked so much with traffic. It became such a great band. Uh, and then. In 1995, Steve decided to take the year off and not continue traffic. And then uh, he called me back to play on his solo project in 1997, 98, 99, 2002, 3, and 4. So basically, I was with Steve Winwood for about 10 years. Wow. And working with Steve Winwood, he's one of my favorites. And I have to say this, you know, I'm not comparing artists, but Steve, a lot of people don't realize He's an amazing B3 player, he's legendary. He's an amazing songwriter. He played uh, B3 guitar. He wrote, wrote um, uh, Give Me Some Loving when he was like 16, 17, and I'm a Man when he was like 17. Crazy. And then continued to write amazing songs. He's a complete instrumentalist. He plays guitar, bass, drum set, percussion. He loves to play percussion. Oh, uh, he's an engineer. He knows how to write and 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 uh, and basically and uh, technology. So he's a all around guy that is amazing. And then of course the singing, right? What a unique voice. Yeah. And then on top of that, he's the nicest guy, and he never embarrasses or is rude to anybody. I've seen him. I've seen him treat Princess Diane as good as the waitress in the coffee shop the next day. Mm -hmm. Everybody, he treats super nice, very gentle. And when he has something to tell you, like if you play something that he didn't like, he waits until after the show and he says, hey, can you, uh, Wally, can I talk to you? He goes, sure. You know, can you accent the four on, on going to the chorus uh, and, and the and of four? And I go like, oh, you mean like, like four and? He goes, yes. Oh, thanks so much. Fantastic. You know, he's so like, like humble and apologetic. And, and, and so you want to give like a hundred percent to this guy. Yeah. You really do. And I, he's one of my favorite artists. He's always been, you know, of course, Carlos is, is uh, like fire and improvisation. He's almost, Carlos is almost like a bebop jazz guy. He loves to improvise on stage. He comes in and basically you might play Oyo Como Va, Black Magic Woman. Yeah. And then you have, okay, Evil Ways is, is next. But all of a sudden he starts playing. And he looks at you. So you go. And you start playing and the band comes in and we're, you're playing a new song that nobody has ever heard before. <laughs> He's creating it on the spot, huh? On the spot.